Well, Susan, yeah. can I tell you something? Sure. Oh, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna. Right. You want, you want your face as close to the lens as possible. Okay. Okay. And that's gonna make noise. I'm gonna tell you that right now. What is? Who says I'm gonna rock? You're not gonna rock. Okay. <laughs> Some video taking on. I'm just the executive producer. I am not the director. Okay. Which one? Which one's the boss? Yeah, who do we listen to? Both of us. Um, On the set, you gotta listen to the director. <laughs> and who would that be right now? Yeah. Okay, so, where do you generally start, Mark? You start with like... Oh, let me, let me start and then you can... You, you, you okay, go ahead. Okay, yeah. sit down. Okay. okay. So when was the first time you had sex? Was it... Uh, oh, no, we don't get to that. Okay. Our uh, wedding night. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. That's honest to God's truth. <laughs> they want to know. Elmer didn't have the moves. We know that already. Uh, let's go actually before that. Um, I maybe I should get the picture, but there's a picture of Gottlieb Tesmer. Roman Tesmer. Yeah, who, who are those guys? Who's the guy with the beard? Is what I want. That's Gottlieb, right? And he was he one of the first people to come to this country? I think so. Good. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Sure. laughs> <laughs> funny. Um, what what was he like? Does any is there any recollection? I have no idea. No idea. Let's skip him. Let okay. me start. Let me go. Okay. <laughs> Mom. Yes. I'm going to have some tea. I'm going to have some tea. Yeah, I'd like some tea. Um, but tell me about the, the town that you're from and, and what it was like. Tell, what, tell me what it was and okay. where uh, it was. I grew up between um, Ontario, Wilton, Kendall. We moved a lot, and they were all real little little towns. Maybe oh, the the most probably had maybe two hundred and fifty. What'd you say? Maybe two hundred and fifty people. Push three hundred. Kind of got up to five hundred. Wow. And they were all farm communities, right? Yeah. And that's what that's what your family did is work the farm. Right until my mom died, and then we moved into the, the big cities. Which were what? Pardon? Which were? Which what, was what was the big city? Kendall. Uh, oh, the 500 people. Yeah. And that's where I graduated from, the Kendall uh, High School. So how old were you when you moved to Kendall? Well, we moved back and forth a lot. Mm. So did you move more after your mother died? Yeah. It's probably tougher for your dad, right? Right. With 11 children. Right. Okay. Um, and so he graduated from, uh, from Kendall High. Kendall High. Dancing a lot on the weekends. That was like the big thing to do on the weekends? That was the big thing. Was it Friday night and Saturday night? Mostly Saturday night. Friday night, we would all get together in cars and go out and get um, <laughs> Come to the big city. <laughs> go to Elroy. <laughs> and, we right. would, and we would go and steal stuff out of people's gardens. To eat? Cabbage and watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> and pick flowers. Some of their beautiful flowers. Right. So, what would you wear to like these dances and stuff? Anything that we could find. Oh, so it wasn't like you didn't have to get real dressed up. I, guess I, I didn't have anything to get really we, dressed up in any way. We dressed up in the best thing we had. Right. Right. Which was mainly maybe saddle shoes and bobby socks and. And um, maybe a skirt, or right. I didn't have any poodle skirts. No poodle skirts? 
Oh, I'll have to get you one. Just the rich people. And there were a few. So now, on one of these Saturday night dances, you met someone, right? Well, I'm, I think I met you before that, right? Oh, did you? Maybe I just met you by getting in one of your car, <laughs> cars. After Mom, that doesn't the, sound good. You really want your grandchildren to hear <laughs> that? After, no, after one of the dances, you know, we'd all get in one guy's car or whatever, and then we'd go to Elroy, to the cone shop. Oh, right. I and think they didn't care who it was, as long as he had some wheels to go to Elroy. Oh, right. Because <laughs> we actually did walk sometimes between Kendall and Elroy. Wow, that's a long walk. Six miles, seven miles. But in the dark, that's a long yeah, walk. Yeah, about midnight. Today you wouldn't do that, but yeah, we did. Hmm. But I think that's how I met Dad. So, Dad, tell us about Elroy. How big was Elroy? What made it a big town? 1,500 people. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he says with pleasure. And you knew them all. <laughs> School was up on top of the hill, mm -hmm. they, so they call us the Hilltoppers. Right. Right. And so, how many people were in your graduating class? Get this now. Thirty-two. <laughs> how many were in yours? <laughs> Twenty-four. Be pretty hard not to make a football team, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we did have a football team. <laughs> were you on Six the football? Six men is all we put up. <laughs> we had eleven men. Were you on the football team too? Yeah. You were? Yeah. I never knew that. Any other extracurricular activities? Besides, you know, the cone shop and the dances and stuff? I tried to go out for basketball, but I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we didn't have any. We didn't do any of that on the farm, so we didn't, never had a chance to right. really throw, throw baseballs or throw football. So now you would probably do the same thing on the weekends, Friday nights and Saturday nights, is what Mom just talked about. Yeah. I was usually in that car. Right. Oh, so you think that's how you probably met? Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I never wanted to sit in the front seat, you know? <laughs> I always wanted to be in the back seat. Did you think he was cute? No, but he was a good dancer. How did you know? You were watching? <laughs> So, Dad, did you approach Mom uh, at, during one of these dances? Or how did the, the actual uh, relationship get started? You don't remember. That's pretty hazy, huh? I don't remember asking her to go out. So then the following weekend, I went and picked her up and we went to the dance. Right. But then we picked up a whole bunch of girls and went to Elroy. <laughs> how romantic. Yeah, really. So, how old were you then, Mom? Uh, 18. That would make you 20, Dad. Right? So, how long did you date before you became engaged? Well, must have been through my senior year, huh? When we were dating. And then... Yeah. And then I graduated and moved to Milwaukee and Elmer had gone into the service. Right. Dad, did you um did you join up or were you enlisted? I was drafted. drafted. You were drafted? Yeah. And so where were you stationed? I went to basic training and Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and then I was stationed in Fort Ord, California. And whereabouts is that? About 120 miles south of San Francisco. Uh -huh. And so, were you engaged at this point when Dad left? Mm -hmm. No, you weren't. No. You were still just dating. Mm -hmm. That was tough. Yeah. How long were you apart? When did Shirley and I come out? Oh, do you remember? 
It's really nice flu out to California then. It's probably the first time you flew. It was. And we were to go to... <laughs> um, San Francisco. Yeah. They were supposed to fly into San Francisco, but the plane stopped in Oakland and then flew across the bay to San Francisco. Well, they Guess got what? Off. Shirley and I got off. We were in California. <laughs> Oakland, Our San first Francisco. flight, you know, and they said Oakland, California, and we just thought that was the name of the airport. You were the right state? In hey. San Francisco, you know? So we got off. And Dad's in California and San Francisco. Wait. Waiting for Shirley and I, and we're in Oakland. What'd you do? We finally we finally figured out that they must have got off because we found out that the plane had stopped in Oakland. So <laughs> so we had them paging in Oakland. So we had to drive her around the bay in order to get them. So that must have been some reunion. <laughs> <laughs> So then, then we, Shirley and I uh, got an apartment. Oh, so you had flown out there to stay. You weren't like coming out to visit or anything. No. You, you knew that you were going to stay out there. We were going to stay out there and we were going to get a job. And did you? Uh-huh. What, what job did you get? I worked at an um, uh, insurance company. Doing what? Filing. Oh. Cards and stuff. I don't remember what Shirley did. Do you know? And then we also worked at the PX, uh -huh. which is on the, on the, the base. First you worked at the PX, and then that wasn't very much money, so then you went to San Francisco. And right. And I think that's where Shirley met Andy, then, was in the, at the PX. At the PX. Yeah. And you were still in the service this whole time, Jack. Mm -hmm. Did you ever go anywhere besides um, California? No. No? So, you're in California now. Mm-hmm. And then what? Then what happened? And we were working and everything, and then we decided we were going to get married. So we got married in October. October 5th. Now, who was at your wedding? Shirley. Um... Elmer's cousin. My cousin Donald Klein. He stood up for us. Him and Aunt Shirley stood up. For right. Because your all your family was back in Wisconsin, right? right? Mm -hmm. So we got married at a chapel on um, the base, and then this couple that we knew had like a small reception for us. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know that. And I remember when we got ready to leave, and our car wouldn't move. How come? I don't know why the car went not It jacked up the back of the car. <laughs> oh, so the wheels just... <laughs> <laughs> Who did Here that? we are. We're all ready to go and our car won't move. <laughs> My cousin. Andy. That's funny. That's great. And we left and we went to King King City and that's where we spent our wedding night. How long was your honeymoon? One day. Really? And in our trip back home. So now why was King City so special? What made you go to King City? It was away from Monterey. Oh, someplace different. So now where did you live after you got married? Hmm. First, first we lived in a trailer park. We had a little, a little silver trailer that was only about twelve foot long. <laughs> <laughs> Bedroom and a kitchen and a bathroom. Mm, no, that's stretching. Oh, <laughs> not very big. Yeah. But then we finally. We're finally able to move up to a little bigger trailer that came up for rent. 
Do you remember what the rent was? Well, I'm sure it wasn't very much because between the two of us, why we were only putting in $125 a month. Oh. So. Oh. I was, I was getting $79, $79 a month in wages and, and she got uh, dependents for, she wanted to go up $50. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a time. Well. We ate pretty lean. I bet. I bet. So, where did you go after that? No, we went. No, we weren't. Were we? We moved to Seaside. Is that when we moved in that, that little uh, yeah. apartment? Yeah. Yeah. We had. That had like a half a door. Yeah, we got a little. It was like a little bungalow, actually, is what it was. Yeah. A small little house. I think I think we moved there and then we got pregnant, right? I think so. Because I know Aunt Betty called almost every month to see if I was pregnant. Oh. She knew you'd get pregnant right away. <laughs> That's what we did then. Right. You got pregnant like you, when you got married, you got pregnant. Right. You got pregnant about two months into your marriage, right? Mm-hmm, about a month. Two months, about two months, right. something like that. Right. Yeah, because Julie was born in September. Now, were you still in a small little bungalow when she was born? And Grandma came out. Mm-hmm. Did she fly? Mm-hmm. Right. How long did she stay? Well, she must have been there a couple of weeks, huh? Well, I was... I was... I was... Uh, going to be discharged from the service uh, about, a, about a month later. Something like that. I think Julie, Julie was six years old, six weeks old at the time. Right. Well, man, yeah, back. so about six weeks after uh, Jules was born, I, then I was discharged, so then wow. mom stayed there and Oh, I didn't know she was that tiny when you guys came back mm -hmm. to Wisconsin. Yeah. So, what did you? What was your trip like back from from uh, California? You drove it with full car and a baby in the back seat. And higher than hell. How long did it take you? Oh, how long did it take you? I think we stopped one one night, didn't we? Yeah. Just one night you stopped? We had to with a baby. Oh, otherwise uh, you would have gone straight through. Yeah. Other than that, we just drove. Wow. That must have been really hard with a baby. Remember we came through the desert and there was like a windstorm? Or we seen a, wind, a dust storm coming up? And it was so hot. And, and, and as we were going through it, we could, we knew it. it when we got far enough that it was going to cool down, which was a relief, because that was hot. Had no air conditioning in cars at that time. No. No. The car car. I bought a, I bought a, a thirty-nine Oldsmobile for a hundred dollars, <laughs> and we actually drove that home right after our honeymoon we drove home and drove it back out and then we drove it back home again when I got discharged so that made four trips between or three trips between California and, and Wisconsin for a hundred dollars that wasn't too bad. Yeah. Wow. And it, and it held up Pretty good. Uh, we we had a few problems, but 
back in those days where you expected some car problems anyhow. Mm -hmm. So now you're back in Wisconsin. What year is it? 57. So it must have been like October of 57. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. Julia was born in 58. 58. Oh, at 58. I'm sorry. Yeah. 58. So October 58. October 58. Now, what were your plans? Where were you going to stay until you found a, a, a place of your own? Well, basically, I had worked at General Motors before I went in the service, but I didn't have any intention at all of going back to General Motors because I didn't feel that I wanted to do assembly line work when I got out. But then when I got home by then I was uh, it was in the, in October and so there was really hardly any work available and I was I was still able to uh, exercise my seniority in order to get back into the general order plan. So I went back in there and because uh, I had a wife and a baby and I had to do something to mm -hmm. get some money. So actually we, we when we first came back we, we moved in with my folks for a couple of weeks. And, and they lived in Fond du Lac. They lived in Fond du Lac. Mm -hmm. James Weldon. He got got my job back and got an apartment. Moved everything down. What what street in Jamesville? Actually, the first first one was on Centerway. I it think I pointed out that big yellow house up there in Centerway. It was an upstairs upstairs apartment. Now, did you take back a lot of furniture? From uh, California? Yeah. It was all like part of the rented yeah. apartment. Mm -hmm. Well, we brought back that bassinet that you had slept in. Right. That Noah had slept in. Mm -hmm. We all slept in it, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Now we moved to London Avenue. What year was that? Let's see, Mike was born on Center Avenue. Now, Julia is named after your mother. Yeah. And Mike is named after, explain who Mike is named after, Dad. Mike is named after Mike Cafferty. An old bachelor that, that we worked on his farm for some time while I was a, a boy. And we just really got to, got close to Mike. We were kind of like his family because he didn't have too much family. And, and uh, he passed away from cancer while I was in the service. So when Mike came back, when he was gone. Hmm. So was he like an uncle figure to you or, or something along those lines? Yeah, uh, almost a father figure mm -hmm. at times. Right. He was a very loving man. Yeah. How old was he when he died? Pardon? How old was he? Was he? Uh, hmm. how old? Um, I think he was, he was um, around 65. Mm -hmm. What was he like? He was uh, yeah, he he was uh, an old Irishman. He basically went to church every Sunday morning, and he he just uh, farmed his farm, and that was about it. That was that was his life, really. It was some help. But he got along good with your family. 
Yeah. Yeah, he got on great with mom. Superman. Sounds like it's a good deal for everybody. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we uh We've done a lot of moving in our in our childhood too, and so it was a kind of a it was a kind of a a stabilizing place for us to go. You know, to, it was almost like a home. You were there for a number of years. Mm -hmm. So, from like what age to what age do you think you were there? Well. Didn't he give you a calf then? Mm -hmm. Tell him about your calf. I think that's kind of neat. Yeah, I guess we were there from, from about the time I was uh, in uh, third or fourth grade. And then for some reason or another, why we moved away. And then we came back when I was uh, like a freshman in high school and we were there until I graduated from high school and, and of course then shortly after high school I started at General Motors and then went, went to the, into the Army and then Like I say, when I was while I was in the army, my mic passed away. So. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, so let's jump uh, back to where we were, which was in uh, we had just moved into uh, Linden Avenue. Mike was born, and uh, you still have no furniture. Oh yeah. You have furniture now? Yeah. With furniture. With furniture on uh, Center Avenue. Yeah, we bought, we bought a few pieces. Yeah, too. right. We bought like a couch and stuff, you know, a few things like that. Now, what was the apartment like on uh, Linden Avenue? It was a downstairs apartment, and we had a kitchen. And well, it was supposed to be a kitchen and, um, a dining room and a living room and one bedroom. But we made it where the dining room was was our living room and where the living room was where it was where our four children slept. Well so far we're only up to two, but um, so you would just you just put your, your table in the kitchen and ate in the kitchen? Ate in the kitchen, which was a pretty good sized kitchen. But, and then we used the dining room as a living room. Right. And then we had the smaller bedroom, and in the front bedroom we just had for the kids. Right. For Mike and Julia at that time. So Mike was born in 60. Uh-huh. And Paul was born in 61. 61. And Susan was born in 63. Right. A busy mom and dad. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> So now you have four kids. Four kids. And technically a one bedroom apartment. Right. And you're going nuts. What happens? Well, I had first first off when I first came back to Jamesville when I was um, working uh, doing some farm work on the side while I I would work uh, uh, eight or nine hours at the General Motors plant at night, get done there at one o'clock in the morning, and then I would sleep till like seven o'clock in the morning, and then get up and go and do some farm work oh. for different farmers in the area. And then I'd done that for a few years, and then I got a chance to uh, go work with this guy that, that built houses, and, and there was, he was he built houses on his own, and, and so him and I basically would build a whole house, the two of us, and 
I was just working part time. Um, what was so his name? Walter Victor. Oh, I just wonder if I recognize the name. But anyhow, then that was with with a, a, the extra money that I made working part time those years. Uh, I worked from Till about, about 60, uh, 66, I guess, something like that. Anyhow, um, with the extra money and, and also being able to get the experience on building a house, I mean, we finally were able to build our own house. Mm -hmm. And you built the house, though? Yeah, mm -hmm. me, me and Dad. Right. And you and well Dick and Bob weren't very old, were they? No. So they didn't really help much. Right. But it was one of the things that I that I wanted to do do. I wanted to have a home of my own because we neither one of us had ever had a home of our own. Yeah. Well that's nice. Yeah. So that was one of the main goals. And so when did you move into your house? Fall. Fall of 65. Fall of 65. It should have been two, right? That following. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And that's the house you're still in? And that's the house we're still in. Good old house. And after, uh, well, it was 30. Must have been 30 years last fall. Mm -hmm. 30 years we've been here. This, yeah, this fall. It was 30 mm -hmm. years. Wow. Right. So now, um, talk about the kids. Anything in particular pop out in your head in terms of uh, your pregnancies or any crazy stories? Any crazy stories? <laughs> Where do you start, huh? Mm -hmm. With four kids, where do you start? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, first of all, did you guys plan to have four children? I mean, I mean no. did you think you'd have four? There was no game plan. Just Whatever things. nature happened, happened to hand Just over. Happened. But you intentionally stopped at four, didn't you? Right. Just yeah. stopped from Got the perfect one. Yeah. We decided four was plenty. Four and five years was plenty. Yeah. Yeah, that would keep you on. But out of our four kids, really, we never had really had any big problems, except for you know, I'm not not really big problems, except for like the stitches, you know, running to the doctor for stitches and. And which I couldn't handle, so the neighbors would take my kids. Really? So, like, who would who would take the kids? Uh, Connie Curtois took um, took Mike one time when he fell in the lawnmower and cut his eyelid. Do you How old was he? Do you remember that, Alan? He was probably working. Say, this was on the yeah. attic. Yeah. How old was Mike? Um. He was probably what, maybe three, something like that. Wow. He was very lucky that he did not cut his eye. But yeah. I know Connie took him because I I couldn't look, and, and that's why Julie's got this big gulge on her leg today, where the bicycle thing went in her leg, you know, and they never took her in for stitches. She reminds me of it. I never knew that. <laughs> Wasn't there also that story about Julia who, uh, drinking gas? Yeah. With a paintbrush. You know how you take a paintbrush and you put it in a in like a soup can with gas in it, you know, to clean the paintbrush off. So Julia drank the gas. 
So we'll take her to the hospital when they pumped her stomach. Didn't Mike also pull the braces off his teeth? Mm-hmm. With pliers. <laughs> one time. Remember he took his cast off? He bit it off, didn't he? Yep, he bit it off. He was um, skiing, if I'm not mistaken. No, he decided that was enough of that. That's the end of the cast. Mom got most of the excitement from raising the kids because I was working two jobs most of the time and, right. and uh, of course I work nights at the, at the plant. And so you you had a second job up until what, 66? Is that what you said? Yeah, and then I, well after that, but then I, I started building some houses on my own, so usually every, every summer when I'd have at least one house to build on my own. I don't remember how long that lasted. Mm. Um, so, what would you charge someone to to build their house? I just charge them by the hour. Wow. And what would you charge them by the hour? Do you remember? I think at that time I was charging them like four or five dollars an hour. Did you say you build a whole house? Yeah. You? Yeah. Over a summer. I mean, didn't you have a crew with you? Mm -mm. No. Usually the guy that, whoever it was, was building the house would help me, you know, so I had, you know, some help. But Him and his dad built ours. I just got a little bit of no on me. Okay. Um, okay, Mom, so let's talk about your, uh, your brothers and sisters. Okay. Tell me, give me the rundown. Start from the oldest and go to the youngest. Okay. I have um, seven sisters and three brothers. There was 11 of us. And my oldest sister, and you want her name and everything? Is Mary Jane, and we call her Jane. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. Then, then who's the next one? Next one is Fred. And the next one is Kate. Catherine. Catherine. And the next one is uh, Francis DeWayne, and we called him Butch. <laughs> and I can see why. <laughs> Francis. And the next one was um, Elizabeth Jean, and we called her Betty. And the next one, uh, Eva. There, well, we called her E. Just or Chick. Or Chick. Well, she had a lot of nicknames. She, well, you shortened, it was chicken, and you shortened it to chick, right? Yeah, yeah. And then there was uh, myself, and then there's brother uh, William John, and we call him Bill. But Josh. he was also called Josh. And right? Josh. Well, some of us have, like I said, more than one nickname. Right. And, um, or was that Bill? Gotcha. And then there's Emma Louise, and we called her Emmy. Or Grump. Or Grump. Well, there was Grump, Growl, Grieve, and Gert. <laughs> <laughs> Grump, Growl? Grump, Growl, which was Alice and Elaine. And then there's... Who's Allie? Who's Allie. And then there's Irene Agnes, that is Sally. And we also called her Mutz. You called Sally Mutz? Yeah, but her name really isn't Sally. It's Irene Agnes. Right. So I go back to this nicknames thing. There's uh, Grump, Growl, and who? There was, let's see, Gert, Grief, Grump, and Gert. You were Gert. I was Gert. Eva was grief. 
Emmy was grump, Allie was growl. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. Bert Free, growl, growl, and grump. So I had to do a lot. Um, we had really some good times jumping buildings and being hooked electric fences. And <laughs> you never got in trouble, right? No. <laughs> no.